So I bought this rooftop tent second hand to put on my ridge line about a week ago and it's a Yuna 140 by Sheepy. It's a very easy to use rooftop tent, soft shell and I got an awning with it as well and some other mattresses. This is the first time setting it up so I'm gonna take you guys with me and show you how easy it is to use for a beginner because well yeah I am a beginner. The last tent that I had was a throw up tent that would flip up in two seconds but I don't want to sleep on the ground anymore and this is easy to go to uh, the 24 hour races that I'm doing with karting, uh, track weekends that I go to or Honda meetings with the weekends and yeah it's gonna be way easier than the tent on the ground so I'm gonna take you guys with me and show you guys how easy it is to use let's go So yeah, took me about 10 minutes maybe. Okay, one downfall. We're missing one clip that attaches to here, just like we have over here. But other than that, for a quick and easy setup, well, I know it's not 100% straight. No, it's not 100% secure like we should do when we go camping. But let's say we take about 15 minutes to set it all up and then it's just perfect. So I'm gonna show you guys around. I've got an awning. Um, this can come down as well, but I'm not gonna do it now. Uh, that can come down, that can come down. And you've got a nice shelter for the sun or for the rain. And then we've got our aluminum ladder, which is retractable up to two meters and a half, I think. And uh, yeah, it's a good support for the tent. So when we go up here, We've got our mattress. We do have an extra foam mattress, memory foam and condensation mat. Just imagine waking up at this height and then just enjoying your day high and dry and then no worries that your tent can get damaged by animals or whatever. So just a few facts. The tent is uh, 154 by 132 by 38 centimeters when it's closed. When it's open, it's 264. So the sleeping footprint is 140 centimeters by 250 centimeters, which is yeah, very large, good enough for two people. It has two bags to put your phone in or whatever some hooks to put some lights in and then you've got anti mosquito nets and then you can close this at night whenever you want to just a breathing port over there with a mosquito net so there's enough air that goes in and out when you got these guys closed and then when you get out well you're not allowed to forget that it's pretty deep and then we have two shoe bags or bags to put in whatever you like. So I've got the awning set up like this right now. You can put it like this as well. So this is more like the wind shelter or rain shelter style, which I like as well. So I think that's about it. Uh, most of it is uh, explained. What I am going to try and do is to build a bed rack that can fit just over here. And I can still use my roller cover and then I can put the tent on here and don't put it as high so it doesn't take too much wind because right now 
we have about two liters of LPG that I'm using more per hundred kilometers, which is well quite a lot. And I don't want it on my roof. I'm gonna use it on my roof this year, but for next season I'm gonna try and put it in the back. So I hope I helped you out, and uh, I hope you like well the Yuna by Sheepy. And if you do like it, just give a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and uh, see you guys later. Bye.